Hi, in this video, we will see how we can order the bars of a column chart in an ascending or a descending order. For example, this is a, a random data. The bars are in an alphabetical order, but we would like to show the bars either in an ascending order based on the numbers or in a descending order based on the numbers. So let's get started. We would be using these packages. And if you haven't got them installed on your machine, you can use these commands for installing the packages. Just remove the hash and run the command and it will install the packages for you. We will need some data for our charts and I'll be using the built-in data set called MPG. And let's see how it looks like. This actually comes from ggplot2 library or package. So the data looks like this, manufacturers and models. We are only interested in these two values. So how many cars or how many models each manufacturer has. So using this command, I'm actually grouping the data by manufacturer and then just telling the numbers. And notice that I've actually given this command manufacturer equals string to title. And the reason for that is these names are in lowercase. We would like this to be starting with, with capital letters. So let's run this command and see what the data looks like. We have 15 manufacturers and these are the number of models. And to get a column chart or a bar chart, it's quite easy to do. Just three lines of command. On the x-axis, we want the manufacturer from this data set. And in the y-axis, we just want the numbers. And we want to fill it by the manufacturer. Notice that this fill command is within the AES. And that will give us different fill color for different manufacturers. So if I run this, we get this chart. Each manufacturer is filled with a different color. And there is the legend on the right hand side. So let's go and make this chart more meaningful. And to do that, I'm adding some more commands in that. Apart from the, the bar, I just want to see the, the numbers also on the top. So I'm using the John text command, saying that the label should be the N, which is this value. And I want to control the size of the text which comes up there. And I'm also using the V justification. This actually pushes the, the text bit up or down. So you can play with these numbers in, in a positive or a negative value. Then I'm going to use a theme called theme classic. And I'm going to use this fill color for various um, fill colors. And I don't want the legend on the right hand side because the names are already written. There's no point in repeating the same information again. And I'm also using another package called ggeasy. I have another video which talks about this ggeasy uh, package in more detail. So I'm using this package to rotate the names of each car by 90 degree. And I'm just putting some labels up there. So let's get this script running. So this is how our chart looks like. And columns are in alphabetical order. You can notice that Audi is on the left and Volkswagen is on, on the right hand side. So let's change the order of this the script which I'm going to use to order the data. So this is the script which I'm going to use to create a chart and order the manufacturers in an ascending order of the quantity or the numbers from, from this data set. So if I run this, I should get a chart which is in, in an ascending order. And similarly, if I wanted a chart in a descending order, I'm using a negative in front of that, minus n, so it becomes a descending order. We get the highest value first, and then the smallest value at the end. So now I'm going to use another script. And the only difference is that this time I want to fill the bars with a numeric value or a continuous value. And notice in the previous ones, we were saying we want to have the fill by the categorical value, which is the manufacturer. So each manufacturer had different colors. So now let's see what it does when I put a numeric value in there. So if I run the script, you notice that the colors are actually, it's the same color, but being changed based on the value. 
So the, the lighter color actually shows the higher value and then it changes. Now at the end, I'm just going to use this syntax where I want to display all the charts together in one single chart. And I'm using this package called Patchwork. There's another video which I've done for Patchwork on how to control the positioning of the charts. So if I run this now, you get four charts, which we actually produce one by one. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.